is uh, from another um, market leader in the uh, in the backhaul community, uh, Dorit Oran. She is the director of product marketing and corporate communications at Galat and insights uh, from Galat's work on the world's largest 4G emergency service network, which was rolled out across the UK. Dorit, welcome and um, uh, please can uh, begin your presentation. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. And hi, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon to all of you. Um, I am very happy to share with you an exciting story about the world's largest emergency service network. Uh, this is a network in the UK that is uh, the satellite part of it is powered by Gilat with our partner Avanti. Uh, before I, um, uh, please next slide. Uh, before I jump uh, into the uh, story of this emergency service network, I'd like to uh, make a point to uh, tell you that Gilad is the uh, undisputed leader in satellite backhaul with 80% uh, of the LTE installations worldwide and recognized by the analyst NSR uh, yet again uh, this year as the world leader in shipments of cellular backhaul over satellite. And this is, of course, important because I'm telling you uh, true stories now and not theory. And that's what I decided to do in this presentation to share with you uh, some of our experience. Uh, next slide, please. So this uh, amazing network, as I said, is the world's largest emergency service network. The home office in the UK, um, they actually uh, put in one billion pounds in this government project. And what they wanted to do is provide public safety for all the people in the UK. And they decided to use the network by EE, Everything Everywhere, uh, now part of BT. Uh, and this network, this 4G network of EE, uh, covers 99% of the population in the UK. So they decided to take advantage of this network and use that for what they call ESN, their emergency service network. And Gilad, together with Avanti, uh, are uh, powering this uh, network with satellite communication. Avanti is, uh, the, uh, of course, the uh, provider of the uh, satellite capacity and the service, and it is Gilad's network and uh, VSATs that are being implemented in a variety of solutions. Next slide, please. So first and foremost, uh, the interest, of course, of the MNO, independent of the emergency uh, services, to reach uh, rural areas and to reach uh, any remote place in the UK and provide communication to extend their service. And this, of course, went hand in hand with the need of the uh, government to provide public safety all over the country. Uh, so you can see here this uh, beautiful, peaceful uh, landscape, but without communication, it is quite lacking. And with, and with the help of satellite, of course, now they can, can, can connect uh, voice and data over the 4G network. Next slide, please. But what's actually more interesting or uh, unusual is that we see satellite backhaul also in the cities. You see here London, of course, a place that is connected with terrestrial uh, um, backhauling. But in case of an emergency, in case something bad happens in this particular area, there has to be a backup of satellite. And that is what we're providing here. So in addition to doing the extension of the network to remote areas, we're also providing the network backup in urban terrestrial um, uh, situations. And that's a very uh, important distinction to make because uh, satellite backhauling is mostly known for the rural areas. Next slide, please. Here you see an image of uh, one of the many floods that are that the UK unfortunately uh, has to deal with. Uh, the point I'd like to make here, though, is that the um, the uh, fire, the police, the different rescue, the emergency uh, medical services, all of these have to be using uh, communication in order to save lives. And there's a variety of different solutions that we provide to help them communicate in order to. Uh, find the people that need to be rescued in order to get the uh, services, uh, to get them to the hospital, in order to communicate, to find uh, ways that it can be traveled on, etc. Next slide, please. 
I don't have time to get into the detail of this slide, but it will be available to you. So if you need the presentation, uh, I will gladly send it to you. But I'm showing you a variety of solutions. And instead of talking in theory and going over one by one, I want to show you some real pictures and examples of usage of these uh, and uh, uh, solutions that, are, that we provide. So first, next slide, please. Uh, first, I'd like to show you here a picture of a vehicle of EE uh, that is a uh, what is often called a cow. Of course, it doesn't look like a cow from the farm. It's a cell on wheels. And we have here the, uh, it, I show it twice here, first on the left with the VSAT and the cell folded for uh, traveling. And then once it arrives on location, both its cell and the visa are popped up in order to provide the required communication. This is often called also on the pause solution, that the uh, car here travels to the location and then as it's standing provides uh, communication in times of uh, emergency. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, this is one of the solutions that we have. Uh, we have uh, about a thousand VSATs that are both fixed and portable communication. This obviously is an example of the portable communication. Uh, and I'll show you now on the next slide, please, uh, another example. In this slide, I put uh, two examples. One of them is called uh, drive away on the top. And here we see the vehicles with the VSAT that pops up, but there is no cell here on the vehicle. Here, the uses of the cell that is in the field on location already. And this is, of course, used in situations where the uh, uh, cell was not uh, destroyed or is still functioning and only the visa needs to arrive on the, uh, on the vehicle in order to provide the required communication. So that we call drive away. And below, the picture below, you see a suitcase and you see a uh, VSAT on a tripod. And this folds into the suitcase and this is called the flyaway because this is a very easy way to bring the solution as required. Uh, people uh, fly to, uh, uh, to locations and then uh, open up this uh, tripod in order to provide the uh, VSAT for communication again with the cell that is already, excuse me, already on the ground. Um, on this uh, slide here below, you can also see a quote from the director of uh, Radio Access Networks, Addy E, who was very pleased with the uh, t many tests that were being done in order to ensure um, the excellent performance uh, that was required in times of emergency. Um, and maybe this is a moment to tell you that I uh, understood that the uh, official go live of this uh, network is happening uh, in the next either few days or weeks. Of course, it is already operational, but there is some big festivity that I understand is going to happen and going live of this network very soon. Next slide, please. Here we have again the same kind of vehicle with the Gilat Visat on it, but on top you see here a balloon that has a small cell in it, again for uh, uh, dealing with the line of sight issues. Note here that the uh, balloon is uh, connected to the vehicle um, for both uh, power and uh, communication. Um, and uh, this is another one of the many examples that we have for solutions for emergency response. Um, and with that, I'd like the next slide, please, to, uh, next slide, yeah. The next slide here just shows you a map of the world with many of the tier one MNOs that are using a Gilat solution. We don't have time to talk about others, but I do want to quickly just show you, please, on the next slide, that there's a few other examples of emergency response in addition to EE's emergency response network. There is a Sprint uh, T-Mobile now uh, in the US uh, here with a similar sol solution for restore to restore communication in disaster areas. Note please, the uh, on top we see here a drone, not a balloon, it's hidden between the trees where the VSAT is on the uh, white truck on the top and the, the cell is in the drone. And on the bottom, we have a similar track like we had for EE for the, their emergency response network. Next slide, please. Here we have an example that is very relevant to the pandemic time that we have here. This is a field hospital in Mexico. You see here also a communication provided to this uh, region. Next slide, please. And here we have an example in Japan of the beautiful, beautiful islands here in Japan uh, when they're very uh, peaceful here where uh, these remote areas receive communication via satellite backhauling and also um, use the satellite backhauling in case of emergency with the unfortunate many uh, earthquakes and uh, tsunamis that uh, happen in, in these uh, islands. 
So really with that, next slide, please. I'd like to conclude and say thank you very much for listening and uh, leave you with the thought that when emergency strikes, of course, every second counts and therefore reliable communication is required. Thanks for listening. Absolutely, and thank you, Dorit, for uh, providing us with some uh, visual representation of what's going on on the ground with backhaul as well.